Cara de la Hoyd and Nathan Massey are new parents after they welcomed their first baby together in December 2017. The Love Island 2016 winners announced the news exclusively to OK. Online in a statement that said the baby was born at 6.30 a.m. on December 13. They then shared the first photographs of their newborn son in OK. Magazine. Kara and Nathan decided to give their baby boy the traditional name, Freddie George. Here's everything you need to know about the new addition, from bump to birth as the family become a three. Cara de la Hoyt shares first video of Freddie George putting a Snapchat filter on. Her son, Cara shared him making noises with her 886k followers on Instagram. In the video Freddie George could be seen gurgling away as Cara as his mum captioned it, having a little chat this morning. The baby looked lots like his parents Cara and Nathan in the clip. Cara and Nathan reveal baby name the reality star duo revealed they named their baby Freddie George de la Hoyd Massey in OK. Magazine exclusively, Cara also revealed she had been wearing jewelry with her son's initials on it months before his arrival. She said, I have been wearing this ring for months and it has the baby's initials field goal on it. We knew his name for four or five months. We're not engaged so I wear his name on my ring finger as he's my little man. Cara de la Hoyt gives birth Cara and Nathan updated fans following the arrival of their newborn on December 13, 2017, sharing a picture of her baby's hand, Cara wrote, So today we met the hand we will hold forever. So in love my heart could burst. Cara de la Hoyt has sweep to bring, on labor speaking to OK. Online exclusively at the OK. Beauty Awards 2017, Cara's best friend and co-star Olivia Buckland revealed her pal was getting uncomfortable, having almost reached her due date. Olivia said, Cara's had a sweep and she's doing everything she can to bring the baby on. She went to Nando's and had the hottest sauce but nothing's working. I think she's quite uncomfortable. Bringing on labor as her due date approached Cara took to Twitter to ask fans for advice on how to go into labor. She wrote, so seriously now any good tips to kickstart this labor off not the usual, but things that have worked. Is this the week? Nigel, for our boy? Nathan and Cara revealed they had a list of baby names on the go, but joked around that Nigel was in the running, tweeting about the name, Nathan wrote, at Miss. Della Hoy do you see in the papers? No babies have been called Nigel this year. I think Nigel Massey has got a good ring to it. Your thoughts? Responding, Cara tweeted, Nidge for short? Let's put him on the list. Godmother the pair have taken another bold step in their parenting journey as Nathan recently picked out a godmother for his little boy, flying all the way to Portugal to share the good news with his aunt. On Instagram he said, I come away to Portugal to ask my auntie at Dibj Roberts a important question, I gave her a off or she couldn't refuse. Would you be my baby boy's godmother? After it's reduced her to tears she said yes. Couldn't ask for a better role model. Sex of the baby in August 2017, around the six month mark. The reality television couple have opened up to fans about baby plans as they discuss the sex of their unborn baby. Speaking to OK Magazine, Cara said, We're having a baby boy. I'm not very girly, so I'd rather have a little boy who gets all muddy than a little princess. And Nathan said, God help everyone having another me running around. I hope he's like a mini me. Baby name ideas both parents to be seen set on a traditional name for their little boy. Cara said, we like old fashioned names. While Nathan said he liked Archie, Cara cleared up, but Archie and Alfie have been done so much. We're not naming him after food or a place. He's going to have a strong name. She also revealed she loved the traditional looks on baby boys, and she loves the way Sam Fires styles baby Paul. Birthing, plan the circus performer detailed how she wanted to have a water birth, but also assured, I'm going to do hypnobirthing sessions, too.
Kara's pregnancy cravings taking to Instagram the Love Island star revealed she was craved greasy food. Sharing a picture on her Instagram story, she simply wrote, Craving issues. Kara's pregnancy announcement The circus worker announced she was pregnant exclusively to OK. Magazine after reaching the 12-week mark, revealing she found out she was expecting in late March. Kara and Nathan split in April. Kara explained, it's come as a massive surprise. It's the biggest secret I've ever had to keep, so it's a nice weight off my shoulders to be able to tell people. She added, the first stage when you don't know anything is so scary, you just want to get to three months and know everything is okay, so it's a massive relief. Kara and Nathan's first baby, scan revealing she had a private first scan before the 12-week mark in Kent. Kara admitted it was an emotional affair. She said, they showed me a healthy baby with a strong heartbeat. I don't think I can describe anything like hearing the heartbeat. You instantly fall in love, and seeing your baby makes it real. Kara's pregnancy symptoms. The Love Island favorite admitted she struggled with sick feeling the first few weeks, she explained. It was a weird morning sickness where I felt like I was going to throw up but I didn't. I looked like a cat choking on a